Alright, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of tutorial, we're trying to see some very cool stuff that Streamlight has to offer. So, so Streamlight has been upgraded with some very cool and some exciting features. So let's check them out. So one of them is the password maxing. So for example, this simple login. In case I want to max the password, which is a very very useful feature. In case you create a login for your simple app and you want to max it, you can actually max it, right? Then if I click on the submit, it's going to work perfectly well for us very interesting that is one nice feature that is from version 0 0.54 and upwards so in version 0 0.54 55 there are some cool features you can also record your app right in a very nice way so if you come back to the menu then i'll just click on record the screencast so when i click on record the screencast it give us the option of recording with audio or without re audio very interesting so you can just go with also record audio and I'll click on start recording. Then you give us three different options. So we have your entire screen, that is everything, including my server and everything, or an application window. So in case I have all these are the applications I have. So I have this my terminal here. I can record only the terminal. I can record only my uh, test editor or a web page. Very, very cool. Then you can also record a particular Chrome browser. So I can record this one, or I can even record this particular one. Right. So let's close this one off. If I close it off and I come back, that's gone only have this one so i can even open another streamlight instant and record it right very very cool so let's check it out so i'm just going to go with this one record the current tab i click on share so we're going to only record that one here not the rest right so you see that it's recording with this blue stuff around it so you see, anytime you see this particular button here that means that it's, it's recording right very very interesting so i can just do whatever i'm doing i can write in a different test here let's call it as awesome awesome streamlight that's my username here <laughs> very nice then i'll pass in another test here so one two three and then i can submit it then ho hooray right everything is working as expected very very interesting so this thing is dolly screen that is being recorded now i can move on to another place here type whatever thing i'm doing right or go to my terminal do some interesting stuff there go to whatever i'm doing like come back to this place write some code write some interesting code and all of all of these things but all all these things i'm doing it's not being recorded only the tab open is recorded that is a very nice feature right only the tab open so let's try some things so as you know that that was not recorded so i'll come back to this place then let's add some new features to it so let's call it as let's come back to here and type in something let's see dot subheader streamlight is awesome it's awesome so cool this is a very nice feature like so so wonderful because most time when you are recording you have to it's very very difficult in case you are using a different software to record only a, <laughs> a tab that you have you are not working on currently that is not on your screen right very very difficult but this is quite cool so this change has been affected so if i come back to my app i see that when i move to this place and i click on submit you are going to see that new change there streamlight is awesome and then if i stop it you see that that one was not recorded right all the code i wrote today was not recorded so let's stop it here then i can click on, click on escape to stop it or click on this stop recording if i stop the recording it's going to print at in a web format so this format is very useful it's supported by a lot of browsers right and then as well as vlc so let's play it and see if i click on this You can see me, you can hear what I was saying right behind. This is not me talking, this is the recording that I did because I was recording the audio. Wow, so you can see that all that I typed here, right? All the things that I was typing here, right? All of these things are not still being shown. That is so cool. Right, so you can see these things, all this thing I typed here is not being shown. Wow, that is so cool. That is very, very cool. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool.
right so this thing i typed all of them was not shown and you, and the recording is also very responsive right i can actually make it only particular for this particular open window even if i change it up and down wow okay let's stop it and then let's save it to save it just click on save video then it will close perfectly right so just, you see it here so i can just come back to this place and open it so i can actually play it with vlc so this is vlc so you see that this is being played inside vlc very very cool right very very nice everything is working as expected wow very cool so that is something cool so let's move on and then see some other stuff i can also do so we are back very very interesting that is something that you can also do so our file was saved here right and then since it's this particular format i can just drag it inside my browser any browser then it's still going to work so let me copy that file here which is this and let's drag it inside any browser so i'll just copy the same thing here drag it inside any browser that i have then it's going to work it's still going to identify and play very well very cool right you don't even need a player you can just drag it, drag it inside your br web browser and it will work perfectly you can reduce the volume right very very cool so cool wow that is so nice wow <laughs> okay so now let's take some other stuff you can also do so i'll close off this then you can also come back to the recording and then let's close off this one and you can also record some other stuff so not just only recording so let's take off the audio right and then record without the audio so i can record an application window from streamlight which is not part of streamlight i can also record my code so in case i'm typing it inside my test data here i can record that particular test data which is very very cool right that is so much benefit <laughs> so if i come back to this particular thing now which is this one it's not my terminal rather but my test editor which is this one right and i want to be recording this thing it is so cool i can actually do that by just coming back to here which is this one i'll select this then click on share so i'm going to select that particular window so you see that it's recording it's recording that particular window not this one right it's very very cool this is too much too much benefit <laughs> i can just be doing whatever and let me position it here beside it and then we can just do whatever we are doing so i can just be typing whatever i'm typing here adding another stuff to it so let's add another stuff here come back to this paste it there paste it there save it and you're going to see the effect here but it's recording only the screen right so if i come back and i click on submit this screen you're going to see the balloons here and then the result has been shown but we are not seeing it we are not seeing this one you only see this one when you finish recording so if i click on this and i stop the recording it's going to bring it out perfectly for us and you see that it's only this screen that was recorded not the rest wow this is so cool man these people have done so much work <laughs> it is so cool wow I don't know whether you can see that it's actually recording. We recorded only that screen. Even omitting this one. We did it like this. But it only recorded only this one. This is so much awesomeness. What? Wow. Okay, let, let's stop it. Uh, too much talking. <laughs> so that all the code that was typed there was also working. Very, very interesting. That means that it can also record responsibly very very interesting so that is something very cool in case you also want to save it just come back to save to file then you can also share it out so it's going to save it like that that is the test that you can also do now let's check some last stuff you can do if i come back to the same place then i can open main instance of streamlight which is something that i i not think it was possible i'm going to open another browser paste it here right it's going to be another browser running the same instance of streamlight but in different browsers so i'll put it here this is different and then this is also going to be different right so we have two different browsers so one is here and then one is here so i can even use mozilla or any other browser then i can re record two different things so i'm moving from login to model building which is this in case i want to record model building separately and record this one separately you can still do that very very cool so let's try that one i'll just close this one here so this is running in a different chrome instance right and there's also another chrome instance so in case i come back to record the screencast and then let's go with start recording so i can select the particular tab here so you see that we have this particular tab here right you have two 
right so i can record the entire screen itself while it's recording and other stuff very cool or i can just come back to this select this one click, click on share then it's recording only this particular tab in the same way this is the tab it's recording right so i'm using this one to record this and i can also use this one to record this very very cool very very exciting so this is what is being used to record this <laughs> wow that is so nice so there are a lot of things you can do so we'll be ending here so let's stop this one now it was this screen that was recorded not even the one that i was running on that is so nice right cool you can see it from here and it's very responsive it's only going to record that particular responsive stuff very cool Very nice. So that is this is one of the features, the new features that is with Streamlight. You can also actually save this particular video, then send it out. Now, one last thing we can also do is that we can also come back to this same place and then we can do some settings, right? That is something that most people have not noticed. You can share the app in a wide mode, right? And it's going to spread the entire stuff. Run the app in a wide mode. So you can see the difference if I say save. Now it's going to spread it. So this is a wide mode, right? And you can also come back to the same place to the settings. Then you can also come back and take it off, right? And it's going to be in the middle mode, right? So either you can make it wide or you can make it narrow. Very, very interesting. So this is one of the cool features that you can do with Streamlight. Very, very interesting. There is the new feature of the password maxing, the new feature of the recording of a screen in which you can record an audio. Then you can also start recording several other st stuff. You can record several application windows, you can record the Chrome tab itself, you can record an entire screen, which is very, very cool. That is everything that you are doing on it. And then you can do some other stuff. You can also come back here and then you can also change the settings for a wide mode or a narrow mode. Very interesting. So thank you for watching and see you in the next session. And please, in case you have any question or contribution, you can put inside the comment section below and then check the link below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and then Python. Thank you and see you in the next session. Stay blessed.